We're tracking a homicide investigation in a Rhode Island town that normally doesn't see many homicides. New tonight, here's a look at the suspects arrested in connection with the crime, Laverne Price and Todd Sulo. Their arrests come after a South Carolina man was found dead in the bathtub of a Middletown hotel on Tuesday. And both of those suspects were arrested following a high-speed chase with Connecticut State Police. We're getting the latest developments tonight from Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russum live in Middletown. And Perry, we understand police are expected to release more information tomorrow, correct? Mike and Shannon, there will be a news conference here in the morning. New tonight, we're hearing from the neighbors of the woman who was arrested in connection with this homicide. Middletown police have arrested two people in connection with a body found in a bathtub at this Quality Inn on West Main Road. Police say an autopsy confirms it was a homicide. Warrants were issued for Todd Sulo from Providence and Laverne Price from Newport. Any concerns for you living so close to this woman? Yes, very, very, very concerned. Wilkins Ramirez lives next door to Price, just a block away from an elementary school. Yes, it's worse. It's worse because kids, they expect the people around here who knows them, and they know the people around here, so they expect it not to be heard from no one. Police tell us on Tuesday they found the body of Mike Lucier partially underwater in a bathtub. They say both Sulo and Price were staying in that room. With the help of Providence Police, the U.S. Marshal's Office, and Connecticut State Police, the two were tracked down to New York City, driving Lucier's car and led police on a highway chase. It ended with the two crashing the car. Both Sulo and Price were arrested. It just puzzles me that someone that would live right there but I don't know the person that would sit and do that. You said you're well, you're, you're just about two houses down, two buildings down. Yeah, and I don't know the person personally. I mean, unless I see her face or something, but it just doesn't seem like someone in that apartment. And we've learned from Connecticut State Police in that high-speed chase, the two reached 90 miles an hour before they crashed. Live in Middletown with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.